Hey there, Aries. Welcome to your reading for February 23rd, 2024. Welcome to Shredding La Belle Tarot. I hope you guys are well and safe today. Just keep in mind, Aries, that this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, so this message may not resonate with everyone. Just take the parts that do resonate for yourself and leave the rest for someone else. Also keep in mind that my readings are timeless, so it doesn't matter when this reading comes across your platform, whenever it does come into your energy is whenever it is meant for you, okay? Whew. It might be too hot in here. I might have to take this thing off. <laughs> Ooh. All right, let's see what's up with it. I'm trying to leave it on for now. See if I can suffer through it. <laughs> Spirit guides, God, angels, ancestors, Archangel Michael. Show me the cards that I need to see for Aries today, please. Show me that Aries energy, please. Show me the cards I need to see for the Aries collective, please. For some reason I have that song in my head. I don't know, I don't know the name of it. <clears throat> The only part I'm even hearing is, uh, I'm just a teenage dirtbag, baby. <laughs> what the world? I don't even, I can't remember who sings that song or the name of it or anything, but that part is coming through, so that might be significant for someone out here, okay? If that makes any sense at all, so. See what Spirit has for you. Spirit guides, God, angels, ancestors, Archangel Michael. Show me the cards that I need to see for Aries today, please. You might be dealing with another fire sign. Sagittarius or a Leo or maybe another Aries for some of you. Spirit guides, guide, angels, ancestors, Archangel Michael. Show me the cards that I need to see for Aries today, please. I also want to get uh, overall energy. All right, we have the Knight of Swords and the Queen of Swords reverse. That's... So you might be dealing with more than one person or there might be more than one or more than one person talking about you. Okay. If they are, it's probably not anything good. Okay. Why Queen of Swords, Knight of Swords reverse because of the sun reverse. Okay. Someone is talking about you, Aries, because, okay, yeah, this is pretty pretty cut and dry so to speak so we have the queen of swords reverse and the knight of swords reverse okay so you might have people talking about you because they either one i mean they're showing energy of projecting here okay they're projecting onto you saying something about either you don't know what you're doing or you don't know where you're going okay they think that you're just doing things out here okay <laughs> But the reason they're saying this is because they're unhappy with their life, okay? I heard a quote somewhere one time, okay? Gosh, I can't remember exactly how it goes, but it's something along the lines of people who are happy with their life aren't worried about yours or something like that, okay? Something along those lines. People that are, are happy with what they have going on in their life and what they're doing in their life they're not worried about yours, okay? They're not worried about talking about other people's lives <laughs> in a negative aspect because they're happy with what they have going on. Confirmation. Must be 1.30. <laughs> Boom. But in reality, we have the Queen of Swords reverse for this person over here, but the reality is, is you have some kind of... Um, plan or you have something figured out as far as where you're going or what you're doing okay if people are in are in your energy as well and they're talking about you in some kind of way 
is because, um, one second. It's because they see you winning in some kind of aspect, okay? They see you as a bad guy, okay? Or something like this. They're like, why does he keep winning or she keep winning? They're like, why do they keep winning? What's going on, okay? Like, I've said it to people, especially in my energy, multiple times in the past, okay? And whenever you are favored, by the divine it's important you know i've learned to i'm at the point now where i just don't say anything about it to the people around me i just don't really it doesn't get you anywhere it just makes people see you as being big-headed but to know that you are favored is important okay and people will try to like think that you're conceited or try to i don't know <laughs> try to tell you that you're wor worshiping like a Long story short, people will try to make you seem like you're not what you are, okay? But whenever you go through certain circumstances in your life, that's how you will know that you are favored. Like, um, especially as far as, like, things where it could have been way worse than it was, but for some reason, like, one, like, thin line connected you to other people and brought you out of a situation, okay? Spirit knows what... Spirit knows what they're doing, okay? <laughs> Take the first rodeo, so you're gonna know if your favorite is. It's pretty simple. It's pretty easy to figure out usually. And if you're watching this, then you are favored, okay? You're being guided. So people could see you as like a bad person um, or someone that's winning and you're not supposed to be winning, okay? Um, for whatever reason, they think that you're not supposed to be winning, but it's because you're decisive and you take action on your ideas, okay? You don't just sit around waiting, so. Let's see what Spirit has for you for the past, present, future reading. Spirit guides, God, angels, ancestors, Archangel Michael. Show me the cards that I need to see for Aries today, please. I feel like, a, like what a lot of people don't know, or it's like they don't seem to come up with a conclusion, is that life is just as hard for... You know, life can be just as hard for a lot of different people, okay? That's not for everyone in the entire world, okay? What I mean by that is, like, we all go through challenges in different ways, in one way or another, all the time. Everybody does, okay? How we choose to react to those challenges make a big difference in how we get through the challenges and how we handle them, okay? Okay? If every single time I have a challenge, I'm like, oh, oh my God, I can't believe this is happening. I don't understand. This is horrible. If every single time I have a challenge like that, then life is a lot harder. Okay. <laughs> so, spirit guides, God, angels, ancestors, Archangel Michael, show me the cards that I need to see for Aries today, please. Show me that Aries energy. Show me the cards I need to see for Aries today. One, two, three. Some of you guys might be finding something out here soon, okay? Um, or being less confused about something. It could have something to do with your life path or what you're supposed to do. Ooh. Six of Pentacles reversed. Spirit guides, God, angels, ancestors, Archangel Michael. Show me the cards that I need to see for Aries today, please. Show me that Aries energy. Let me get one more. One, two, three, four. Okay. Okay. In the past, we have the Five of Wands. Okay. Five of Wands is a card um, about usually either arguments, okay, or people arguing about you. Um, could be you arguing with other people. Uh, it generally also means that different ideas are coming together and clashing. So you might be finding that you are not quite on the same page as someone. Um, 
it could be someone that you work with or are working with okay on something it could be like a relationship or something for some of you or it could be other people arguing about you clarify this five of ones for aries in the past please holy spirit holy angels one two three four okay seven of wands you got six of cups four of pentacles Someone is arguing, in fact, they're like kind of come up, coming up against you, Aries, because of instead, we also have, we also have four, five, six, seven, which is like, <laughs> and then we have three over here. So three, four, five, six, seven. This is like um, something happening in a certain type of order. Okay. So some of this, Aries, is people arguing about you and in fact trying to come up against you all right i don't know if you guys got to watch the reading from yesterday but the reading yesterday i was talking about the boundaries drawing boundaries like a line of where your boundaries are and dealing with for some of you past people or people in general in your energy it could be family as well and they continue to uh cross your boundaries okay even though you have set them you have set your boundaries and this is people trying to come up against you in a way and in, in my opinion this is people trying to get you to pull that boundary back okay they want you to be like a past version of yourself and people are arguing either with each other maybe not arguing with each other but arguing about you to each other about the fact that um you have you have set these boundaries and you're holding to them Okay, and you're also giving to yourself, all right? And not in like a selfish way. You're giving to yourself in a way where other people do not give to you. And that is also the energy of giving from an empty cup. Okay, it gets you, it gets you left with an empty cup and no one there, okay? <laughs> That's what giving from an empty cup does, especially if you do it consistently. You have to give from a full cup. And the way that you do that is you fill your cup first, okay? And then after your cup is full, is full, there will be an overflow. The overflow is what you're allowed to give away if you choose to, okay? It's still your choice. You don't have to. But if you give the overflow away, you know, that's okay, as long as the cup is full. If you start giving after your, you know, if, you're, if, you, if you keep giving from your cup whenever it's empty, People will just keep on taking and taking and taking until they feel like they have gotten all they can out of that cup and then they leave you and they leave you with an empty cup, okay? That's why it's important to set these boundaries <laughs> because, you know, after like a time and time and time of that happening, it gets really old really fast. I mean, it gets old the first time, <laughs> so, but we're here to learn, so... It's also important not to beat yourself up about it. So clarify this past situation for Aries, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Clarify the past situation for Aries, please. One, two. Whoa. Try that again. One, two, three. Five of Swords. Yep. <laughs> clarify. Clarify with the Five of Swords. Someone trying to bully you or intimidate you in some kind of way into, again, like going back into possibly like an old version of yourself or like a way that you used to be. Or you, um, I feel like a lot of people watching this are probably givers, okay? You like to be there for other people. You like to help other people. You like to try to, um, it's not a bad thing, okay? The, the only way it is a bad thing is if you end up with someone who has, you know, mental health issues where they are a taker. <laughs> they just take and take and take and take and take and don't ever give anything back, okay? Sometimes the victory is not worth the price. Selfishness, conflict, yeah. So you got some kind of selfish person here in the past trying to get you to push, 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 or go back on your boundary. They're trying to push, push past your boundary and just like see what happens. But you know, that's why it's called a boundary. Let me get two more cards to clarify the past situation, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. One, two. Okay. Dang. The world in reverse fell down right beside the world in reverse, okay, in the present. So, whoever it is in the past here, they feel like they failed in some kind of way. 
I feel like they saw themselves having the Ten of Pentacles with you or saw you as their Ten of Pentacles. Ew. <laughs> For some of y'all, they saw you as like a... Uh, Someone is looking at you more of what they can get out of you and instead of actually having, like, love for you, okay? And they're trying to control you in some kind of way or bully you or intimidate you. Again, I feel like an energy of projection here. I feel like people are unhappy with what they have going on in their life. And I was saying that at the beginning in the pre-shuffle. Someone is unhappy with what they have going on in their life, and that's why they're doing this, okay? It's, it's some form of pro projection. We also have 333 here, so some of you guys might be saying that. In the present, we have the world and the reversal, okay? Excuse me. All right, so again, this is a card of unhappiness. It could be you, Aries, you might be unhappy with the way like life is right now, okay? It could be definitely be the people in your energy that no longer have you in their energy because of pushing the boundary too many times, okay? Either way, let's clarify. Let's clarify the world. Reverse for Aries in the present, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, show me the cards that I need to see. One, two, three, four, okay. Six of Wands reversed, Ten of Cups, and the Death card. Okay, so someone's unhappy. It could be you or them, all right? Um, we do have heavy water here. So Pisces, Cancer, or, or Scorpio. You know what I realized with the English language? This is uh, like a total sad note. Every single time I start analyzing how I talk, because someone, out, someone I, I know <laughs> told me that I have an accent. Okay. They're like, you have an accent. And I started like analyzing my speech a little bit. And the word or, where I come from, we say er. We don't say or, we say er. <laughs> it just sounds so cringe whenever I hear it sometimes. Anyway, er. <laughs> sound like a fucking, like a pirate or some shit. Anyway, okay. Something about boat might be significant for some of y'all or being on a boat or like, I don't know, maybe going on a cruise or something. Anyways, okay, so, let me see this here really quick. Okay, so someone feels like they put a lot of work into this, or you might be feeling like you've been putting a lot of work in, and you feel like you're not getting anywhere, okay? Um, but more so, I feel, especially with the Ten of Cups, someone felt like they put a lot of work in in order to lead to a Ten of Cups situation with you, which is like happy family, happy home life, okay? But instead, there's some kind of change happening, and it's not like going in someone's favor or the way that they want it to go, okay? Let me see why. Someone definitely feel like they have put a lot of work into this and they're upset because it didn't turn out the way they wanted it to. It could be you or the other person. Take it as it resonates. Feel free to reverse the roles as needed. Clarify this present situation for Aries, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Show me the cards that I need to see. I have some weird things going on in my energy right now. I don't even know like how to... I don't even know what's going on with it. It's not like bad. It's just, you know... Let me get one more. One, two, three, four. Okay. Six of cups again. Four of wands. Okay. And then eight of swords. So someone's feeling trapped because again, uh, what's with all the Scorpio energy? Someone feels like um, you're giving to yourself, okay? Or you're giving a whole lot to yourself instead of giving to a um, situation or a, you know, marriage or a long-term relationship. It's making someone feel trapped in some kind of way. Why is the Eight of Swords? Why is the Eight of Swords here? Some of you might be dealing with a Gemini. One more. One, two, three, four. Okay. Ace of Wands. Because they feel like you are getting a new opportunity or... Uh, something new in life, okay, and uh, it feels to them like they're stuck somewhere, 
someone might be feeling like they're stuck in a connection with someone else okay if you're dealing with a person and they chose a third party over you aries they're no longer <laughs> they're no longer happy in the third party situation now they're feeling trapped and they see you as someone that's taking action on your ideas and moving forward with some kind of new opportunity or future here okay without them and it's making them feel upset or sad because they wanted that with you okay in the future we have the three of wands okay <laughs> Sorry guys. Three of Wands is a card of putting stuff out into the universe, okay? Um, it's like more than planning, it's like taking action on the plans that you've already had. So you, so you could be creating something new, um, starting a new channel or platform in some kind of way, or coming up with some kind of new idea that you're taking action on, or maybe like starting a new job or something, all right? Um, it's a very good card to have three of wands, but also it is sometimes a little frustrating because you're waiting on the return profit of whatever this is, or waiting on some kind of uh, return on your investment here, <laughs> something that you've invested in. You're waiting on it, and it, it can be a little frustrating waiting, but you have put in the energy and effort, and you are waiting on something here. Clarify the three of wands for Aries in the future, please, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. One more. in the upright so it feels because emperor came out in reverse but then you have will of fortune and the nine of cups okay the only other thing emperor in the reversal could mean in, in this situation is that because aries the emperor is aries energy okay you have some kind of good luck and good fortune coming in because of what you've been putting out into the universe okay with the Wheel of Fortune and the Nine of Cups, okay? It's gonna bring happiness, something that you really want. Quitting the game on top, you win, okay? <laughs> so something really working out for you in some kind of way. Um, now, I, I'm, I have a good feeling because this came out on reversal. This could be someone feeling like they're not in control of the situation or they're not in control of you. And if someone that does in some kind of way or another want to be in control of you or in control of what you have going on, okay? They want to control the situation. Some of y'all definitely dealing with it down. I ain't even gonna say that. But I also feel like um, that could be them. I don't know. For others of you, Queen of Swords again in the upright. You're still being decisive, okay? Your clear communication expresses what is best for all, okay? Let me see something really quick. Somebody could be watching you, okay? Or trying to wait for this good, good luck or happiness to come in for you because of what you've been putting out into the universe, okay? For others of you. But what I am getting is you're really standing in your power here either way, Aries. You're not... I feel like you're probably not even very worried about this, okay? You ever get those... Like, you, you just know those people that have, like, a really good... Um, projection of who they are on the outside and then you like get a little closer and you get to know them and then you're like oh okay you know somebody dealing with somebody like this okay <laughs> clarify the future situation let me get two more cards please holy spirit holy angels show me the cards i need to see one two three four okay Scorpio energy again. Some of y'all are probably dealing with a water sign or a Scorpio. Okay. So 
someone hasn't let go of the past situation here and that's why they're watching you and trying to come in here okay they haven't let go of a, something that emotionally did not work out for them okay uh if you moved on from a situation aries the person probably isn't over it okay even if they are acting like they are or if there is no communication here um someone is mirroring you and waiting on you to communicate with them i don't know if they don't understand the aries ram energy or or not but especially when you make up your mind or get to a certain point there is no it's like all right you can just do what you want i won't be a ram over here <laughs> okay just just go over there somewhere and leave me out of it okay four swords reverse someone is either okay in this situation because in the in the book that i read here by dusty white um this could mean dishonor or someone digging up the past no rest from from prying eyes so someone could be trying to again and i think we got this in the reading yesterday or the day before okay get some kind of dirt on you to make you look bad okay because of a situation that they have not let go of that has not worked out for them like i said i don't feel like you're very worried about it it's like okay you know what else is there but also for some of you it could be you working too hard okay or or not resting enough rather okay for some of you it could mean that as well let me get one more card to clarify the future situation for Aries, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, show me the cards that I need to see. I guess we're I guess we're taking two. Four of Pentacles and the Reversal and the Six of Wands. So if you perchance are still holding on to something in this situation, Aries, okay. Um after you let go of it, if you do decide to let go of the situation, if this is you, because I understand how hard it can be, okay. There's no need to beat yourself up over it either okay if, if this is you don't feel bad okay we're, we're all working at our own pace here okay but if you are still holding on to a situation that you know is bad for you and you know you need to move on from the sooner you let go of whatever the situation is the faster you will have some kind of victory come in for you okay spirit might even send someone new your way that is more on your frequency more worth your time energy and effort okay you have earned every one of your successes but you have to let go of a situation first okay we also have 444 here so you guys could be seeing 444 or that might be significant for someone watching this okay or 4444 okay because we have all the fours <laughs> okay so Keep that in the back of your mind, okay? Spirit guides, God, angels, ancestors, Archangel Michael, Big Bubba Mac. Show me the cards that I need to see for Aries today, please. Show me that Aries energy. Show me the cards that I need to see for Aries today. Dun, 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 dun. One, two, three, four. Okay. Headband. Someone's stuck in their head. Okay. <laughs> Someone is stuck in their head either over you, okay, or stuck in their head for some reason about what you have going on. Some of you might be wearing a headband or you like to wear a headband or something about a headband is significant here. I also heard a rubber band. So something about a rubber band might be significant. Okay. I don't know why. Baby looking at my neck saying it's a rubber band, man. Okay, I don't know why <laughs> that came out. Uh, life force. Something about your life force is significant here, Aries, okay? Something about your life force. You could have been with someone that really took a lot of your life force to be with, okay? Something like that. You know, uh, like an energy vampire or something. Someone that took a lot but didn't give a whole lot back, so... <laughs> I don't know why I just sing that part of that song. Oh my god. Something about a succulent. Okay, as soon as I said that, um, energy vampire succulent comes out. And this does, of course, represent the plant succulents. Okay, but also, it, gosh, I forgot that. I was supposed to do the revealing of my succulent plants. But it can also mean you're dealing with someone that's like an energy vampire. Like, they just take a lot. Someone was taking a lot of your life force. Okay, and I feel like if they don't have access to your energy now, they're really stuck in their head about this. Because they... 
It's always after you're gone that they realize how much you bring to the table whenever you're there, okay? Everybody always wants to point out every flaw in the world, okay? But as soon as you're gone, they start remembering all the good shit too. <laughs> Why is that, okay? Something about plant or plants is significant here. Again, some of you might have plants. You might even have succulent plants, okay? It's good for you if you do. I actually have two that I still got to unbox in there. They're probably sitting there mad as at me right now like, we died, okay, <laughs> but they, they're pretty resilient, which is pretty good, especially when they're wrapped the way they are. That's why I like Succulent Studios. I was gonna unbox those today, but I'll probably do that tomorrow now, so. We have happy, someone could be happy with you. You might be happy with what you have going on right now. Something about happiness is significant here. You could be happy with how you're feeling about your life force now at this time, Aries, okay? What else? One, two, three, four, clear quartz. Might need to get some clear quartz if you don't have any, okay? This is clear quartz, enhancing mental clarity, aid in emotional stability, used during manifestation, increased focus, helps clear the mind to see truths in situations or new perspective. Something about someone's sacral chakra is significant here, okay? Um, you could be dealing with someone that's working out of a lower chakra, okay? If you're feeling like you, you're coming out of a lower chakra here, you can do that. You can bring that, you can bring up your chakra by meditating. Also, if you feel like you need to do some healing in your lower chakras, there's a um, like a sleep meditation thing that you can play on YouTube, and I would recommend it. Okay, uh, every single time that I play one, I have really weird, vivid dreams about um, things that sometimes I don't even really think about that really have like caused some mental bullshit. <laughs> Some mental shit from like my childhood, like sometimes my friends or something that I'm no longer friends with from like way back. Uh, I never really thought about how much it impacted me not being able to be friends with people that I used to be really close friends with, but I had a dream about that the other night, okay? And I was like, damn, I didn't really think about that, okay? But that's what it is, it's like unhealed childhood trauma. So that's why sometimes it can, it can still affect us now even if we don't think about it. So it's important to heal those parts of yourself. Someone could be interested in you, or you might be interested in someone, okay? Someone might owe somebody some money here, or you, somebody might owe you some money. Something about interest is significant. But I'm getting more of um, someone interested in you, or you make them happy, or something like that, okay? Or vice versa. One, two, three, four. Oh my god. <laughs> somebody might be doing this a lot when they think about you, okay? Or you might be doing this a lot in general. Somebody might be doing that. <laughs> Oh, I don't even have that card in there. Okay, anyway. <laughs> okay, somebody could be angry with you or you might be angry with someone or something about anger is significant here. Okay. Somebody's angry and stuck in their head about you because they see you happy. Computer, somebody might be watching this through a computer or something about your computer might be significant, all right? Always cover the webcam just in case. Okay. <laughs> What else? Root chakra, yeah, you definitely got somebody working out of some low chakras here, okay? Or need some healing. Root chakra. You can see the things on YouTube, it'll say like root chakra, sacral, sacral chakra, solar plexus, like healing or whatever. All right, I play, those are important. I definitely would play those, okay? While you sleep or something, if you can handle that, do it. Something about tape. All right, somebody might be looking at like pictures of, or videos of you if they've like a past relationship or somebody could be trying to hold something together. Um, this is like over. That's like right over happy and masturbate and interest. Okay, so. And clear chords. <laughs> I don't know, so. Somebody trying to enhance their mental clarity in some kind of way, I don't know. Just, um, you could be having someone that you were dealing with thinking about you, Aries, so just be careful, okay? Somebody can see you in some kind of boss energy, or you, somebody might be dealing with their boss, or something about boss is significant here, and we have Aries underneath that, wow. Very nice. That was a strange one, Big Bubba Mac, what you got going on, son? <laughs> okay, so... Let's see what your ancestors have to say about this, okay? Ancestors, spirit guides, God, angels, Archangel Michael, show me the cards that I need to see for Aries today, please. Show me that Aries energy. 
Show me the cards that I need to see for Aries today. Ancestor, Spirit Guides, God, Angels, Archangel Michael. Show me the cards that I need to see for Aries today, please. Let me get one more for one, two, three, four. Let me get one more. One, two. Try that again. One more. One, two, three, four. Okay. We have Mother and Nurturing. Mother and Nurturing. Let's read it. See what your ancestors have to say about this. All right, they are saying, whether you were consistently showered with love as a child, had periodic experiences of it that still swim quietly in your memory, or were bereft of any experiences or memories of unconditional love and being cared for, you still have the capacity to nurture others and to nurture yourself. The scales are out of balance now as you have been giving your time and attention to others, You've been feeling drained from this and you're caught up in the energetic shifts that are occurring in the world and in our collective consciousness. You're giving more than you're, than you're receiving and it's time to deeply nurture yourself. Get a massage, take a hot bath with candles and music, go for a slow walk in nature, make love and take your time in doing so, play with a child and be childlike, stretch your usual inhibitions and tendency to not give to yourself. Insist that you go into receiving mode for a while. Notice how you feel when you do and allow yourself the simple pleasure of being nurtured and cared for. Okay. Well, <laughs> time to go get a massage. Okay. <laughs> All right, Aries, this is going to be the end of your reading for today. Hope this message resonated with someone out here. If it did, guys, hit that like button at the bottom, share this video, subscribe to the channel, and please leave a comment in the comment section. I do read all my comments, okay? Make sure to check out New Age Lifestyle Shop down at the bottom of the description box below, and anything else you need to know about me will be down there as well. Thank you all so much for the new likes, comments, shares, and subscribes, and the people that give super thanks and that donate to the channel. You guys are amazing, okay? Keep your head up, keep moving forward, and as always, Love yourself first. See you guys tomorrow.